September 5th, 2017. It's the first day of school. Yay! I can't wait for junior year. La la la, yeah. First day of school. Someone's awfully excited. I'm always excited for the first day of school. And junior year. Wow, that means you're almost all grown up. And then I will go to college. Whoa there, slow your roll, Nia. Let's not grow up too fast. Man, this is so weird. Right. I remember when I was excited for kindergarten, and middle school, and first day of high school. I just love school. I'm glad you do. Anyway, let's have some breakfast now. Meanwhile, at Lex's house. I just don't know what to tell Mia. She will kill me if she finds out I'm in the hot squad. And they want to do a grand entrance to school this morning with me. Honey. She will understand that you need to do this in order to keep your job. Ah, you're right. Plus I shouldn't be spending the first day all sad. It's a new year, a new era, and a new me. That's the spirit, honey. Now that you're happy, I have to tell you something. What is it? After work, I have a date. Ooh, who is he? His name is Randy. And I like him a lot. Well, good luck. Goodbye, Dad. I see you after school. Thanks, Michaela. By the way, I have a date after work with a woman I met. So if I'm not home, don't worry. Oh, you got a date. Who is the lucky lady? Her name is Lanea, and she is so beautiful. Well, good luck on your date. <laughs> I love school. I love school. Can't wait for period one. Watersman High School, please welcome, the hot squad. Oh god. The stupid squad is coming back. Give a welcome to, Michaela Allison Burgundy, Jill Charlene Charlotte, Rebecca Olivia Herman, and, Alexandria Sophia Reed. What the, oh, my, god. I cannot believe you joined the hot squad again. It's because Jill works at Forever 22 and her boss is a part of the hot squad, and she said I would get fired if I didn't join them. I guess I understand. I hope you survive being with them. Thank you so much for not being mad. Don't worry Lexi, it's fine. Bonjour, my name is Mrs. Herman. Welcome to French class. Today, we will be going over classroom rules. Mrs. Herman. More like Mrs. Fat Man. <laughs> Rebecca, I heard that. You should not be talking about your mother like that. Your mom is the French teacher. That's so embarrassing. Dear God, what have I done? So, do you eat a lot of baguettes at home? Make fun of me all ya want, Jill. But everyone knows the French have the best fashion. We got history class together, Nia. I can't wait to make history projects with you. How romantic. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you talking about? He's talking about me. I'm his girlfriend from when he used to live in New Mexico. Well, I'm his current girlfriend, right now. Wait, Gregory, you're breaking up with me. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Here I'll go break up with Nia right now. Wait, what? Nia, let's talk in the hallway please. He he he. Gregory will be mine. I'm not actually breaking up with you. Thank God. So, why did you call me out here? I want you to time travel for me. You need to time travel to the day we met and make me break up with her. 
I never broke up with her back then because she is crazy. I mean she decided to follow me here. Don't worry, Gregory. When I see Lexi at lunch, I'll tell her. And that's why we need to time travel to the first day of freshman year. Are you up for that? If I can go to 2015 and not be a part of the hot squad, then yes. Let's go right now. September 8th, 2015. So, we gotta remember, how did I meet Gregory again? He was a your science class partner. Got it. I remember. We bonded because we both love the show The Pleasant Twins. Sadly, that show is going to be cancelled on March 12th, 2016. I missed that show so much. Anyway, we better get started on the day. Hi, I'm Nia. My name is Gregory. So what's your favorite show? Mine is The Pleasant Twins. Mine too. What a coincidence. My favorite episode is episode 24, Dancing in the Woods. But there are only 19 episodes. Oh right, that episode hasn't come out yet. I mean, my favorite episode is episode 17. <laughs> hey Fabby. I thought you weighed more than me, Jill. Yeah, I was talking about your big fat men forehead. Oh, you did not just go there. Oh, I went there. And I forgot to mention your split tendons and giant feet. Seriously, you're like a hairless Chewbacca. Okay, that's it. You and I are having a roasting battle in the hallway. You're on. So Gregory, where do you come from? I'm from New Mexico. Did you have any friends in Mexico? I had a few friends. But since I'm here I'm hoping to make new friends. Did you have a girlfriend back in New Mexico? Oh, yeah, her name is Casey. But I really want to break up with her. Why haven't you broke up with her? Because she's crazy. When I forgot our one year anniversary, she threw a shoe at me. That's not so bad. You didn't let me finish. A shoe, a textbook, a laptop, and her grandma's dentures. Yikes, you're right, she sounds crazy. But maybe I can help you break up with her. Meet me in the library at lunch. Oh, okay. Hey class, I'm Mr. German, and welcome to science class. Wait a second, sir. Shouldn't you be teaching German class? <laughs> no, young man. Mr. Science teaches German class. <laughs> Watersman is more fun than my old town. Welcome to the roasting battle between Jill Charlene Charlotte and Lexi. Why didn't you say my full name? It makes me sound superior. Anyway, let's begin. Your pores are so big, scientists renamed them the Grand Canyon. Your skin is so dry, even camels would get dehydrated on them. 2005 just called, they want their cargo pants back. You got so many split ends, the hair strands got a divorce. Your ears are so big, they make elephants envious. Your eyebrows are so thick, mountaineers go hiking in them. Your shirt is so lame, it came from the lost and found. That makeup is so cakey, you might as well work in a bakery. So Gregory, are you ready to break up with her? It should be quiet, for some reason nobody is in here. I heard everyone is watching some roasting battle in the cafeteria. Okay, so all you got to do is just tell her that it's not working between you two. I don't know about this, I already told you, she's crazy. She won't take it well. Just try it Gregory, I have your back. Alright, I'll try. Hey my Gregory Poo Poo-kins. Hi Casey. Where are you? I can't find you in the school. That's what I'm here to talk to you about. You see, I moved away last month. What? You did. <laughs> wait, wait, don't cry honey. Never mind, I'm moving back. He seems to be too afraid to make her sad. Gregory, give me the phone. Gregory, what's going on? Hi, hi, I'm Nia. 
one of Gregory's new friends. Now, you see, Gregory is trying to break up with you. What? He's breaking up with me. <laughs> Kodiak Casey, crying doesn't work on me. Why is he breaking up with me? I swear I find out where you live and he's breaking up with you because he doesn't think a long distance relationship will work. Yeah, that's why. Oh, well, when you explain it like that, I guess it makes sense. A oh, man, two years of dating wash down the drain. I'm sure you'll find someone else that you will love in the future. I guess you're right. I gotta go now. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Nia. I finally feel free of her. You're welcome, Gregory. Now I gotta go see Lexi at the cafeteria. See you later. So did you get Gregory to break up with his girlfriend? Yep, now I don't have to worry about her. You know, I remember when we first started high school. That's technically right now since we time traveled. I thought that 2017 was going to be super different, but honestly nothing exciting has happened. Except getting our time travel powers in 2016. Okay, true. But the years are starting to go by too quickly. It's freaking me out. Do we have to go back? Lexi, we shouldn't stay too long. We could change too much stuff. Oh, um, yeah, about that. What did you do? I may have had a roasting battle with Jill. What's wrong with you? You forgot to tell me so I could see it. Thank <laughs> you.